Gaming Geek here with a video comparing the different kind of trees that are available for printing and as long as you have a 3D printer you're able to make a bunch of trees. Obviously there are commercially available trees but I found that the Games Workshop trees are really expensive and you can make your own trees but those also take time. So here's a comparison with some of the trees that I've used with my tabletop war games. So here to your left is the um, free option that you have and you can find these trees on Thingiverse. This is actually for the game Gloomhaven and the person who made these trees made a bunch of different terrain for that game and I went ahead and uh, downloaded it and printed out a couple of them because I think these trees look great. One of the good things about this is that you can print out the leaves in green as well as some of the bushes that um, he also provided the files for. And so I just on, on my slicer put these in a row like this so that they're attached and it created a row of hedges. And so this is a good option if you don't want to spend actually any money on the STL files and I also think that they look pretty good. These trees are actually the ones that I printed out first when I got my 3D printer a number of years ago and these are from Printable Scenery. They are the gnarly tree pack. And the thing I like about these trees is that you can scale them, uh, make them bigger or smaller, which I did to provide variety, but it doesn't come with leaves. And so after you print it out, uh, what I chose to do for the leaves is use this moss that you can buy. And I think this pack was $6 that I got at Hobby Lobby and just took some in clumps and I actually used a glue gun and glued them onto uh, the printed tree. And I think they turned out pretty well and look pretty nice. Over time, they have changed a little bit uh, a color from uh, a deeper green to somewhat a little bit brownish, but that's fine with me. The only downside with this is that they shed actually. And so if you look really closely here, you'll see um, little pieces of the foliage coming off. And so it's like, constantly battling dandruff uh, from these trees. I did spray them with hairspray, but I might need to put some more on because uh, I've had these trees for a couple of years now. The other cool thing about these gnarly trees is that um, they have faces on them. And so for whatever reason for your game, if you want a face on there, uh, you can print these guys out. And sort of for a barren wasteland, you can just print them out in black PLA like I did here and don't bother to put any leaves on it. And I've used this uh, for terrain as well next to a graveyard. The final option here is uh, trees that just recently came out. Printable Scenery had a Kickstarter. It's basically the tree trunks, the same tree trunks as these gnarly tree pack uh, from Winterdale. But this time uh, they provided the canopy of leaves. And so I just printed this out and was able to slap the leaves right back on and these are super easy to paint so I'm going to uh, show you a tutorial on how to paint these and it's basically the same method that I've used to paint all of these. Now here with the Gloomhaven tree I didn't paint it and just kept it green and so that's even simpler if you want to print things in green you don't have to um, but here uh, it's a little bit more realistic because you can paint it and then highlight it and create more depth and I think the print on these leaves uh, the details are amazing and so it warrants uh, pretty easy paint for highlighting. So at the end of the day, um, out of these options, I actually like these the best, the new trees from Printable Scenery, because you can print out the canopy. Even though I think this moss is uh, looks pretty realistic and looks pretty cool, this actually is much faster and I don't have to deal with it shedding all the time in my display cabinet. And so thus far, I think the best option for me that I'm going to use moving forward is these kind of trees because you can print out the canopy as well. And I think the five that is in the set uh, actually does look really good and has a, a lot of variety among them. And so you can create a whole forest if you wanted to. Now the only downside with these guys is I don't think I would scale them up and down that much because of the leaves. If you scale it down too small, you'll notice a difference between uh, the leaves that are on these trees and a smaller scaled tree. Uh, so you're going to miss out a little bit because of that. But 
I think it's worth uh, needing to keep most of the trees at about the same height and uh, scale in order to have printable leaves. And the benefit of that is really good. These things are normally pretty expensive. I know that uh, someone ran a Kickstarter for uh, these trees, pre-painted actually, and I know that they were quite expensive. But I printed out all five of these, I think with maybe half a spool of PLA. And so that means all of these trees were made for about $10 worth of PLA. And so very affordable and very quick. And so I'll go ahead and follow up with a how to paint video to show you how quickly you can paint these guys and create a small forest if you wanted to. Uh, these models here are also from Printable Scenery and then these Reaper uh, miniatures just to show the scale of the trees. Um, but check out my other videos where I show you how to paint some of that scenery. Otherwise, go ahead and stick around and uh, I'll show you how to paint these trees really fast. All right, so here we have all of our tree parts out here ready for priming. And the first color I'm going to use for the trunks of the trees is this Rust-Oleum Camouflage. And this is the Earth Brown. Uh, and I almost spray all of the wood parts that I have for my terrain with this spray. And the thing I like about this brand and camouflage is that it is very flat and matte. You won't get any gloss from this. So I split the leaves up into two different sections because leaves are all different colors. So uh, here I have this Valspar Hunter Green and I just had this anyway. Um, and then this Rust-Oleum, and this is the Deep Forest Green. Now, if you can only afford one can, get this, because again, this uh, is pure matte. But since I have both of them, I'm gonna spray uh, and use both of them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and paint the trunks of the trees with terracotta, and I just use a big stiff bristle brush like this and we're going to dry brush this on. Now if you wanted to, you could um, go with a lighter shade to highlight and provide more um, differences in colors. But because I'm trying to paint as fast as possible, I just do this one coat and I call it done. Next I'm going to go ahead and just do the base, some of these stones just with gray. And the gray that I use, my go-to gray is zinc. Go ahead and grab avocado, and we're going to do the ground here. And as you can see, I'm not bothering to be very neat or to bother going all the way. Because it's okay if this brown, this dark brown shows through. That's why I like priming in this brown is because it just gives it a natural look. We're gonna stick with the avocado and actually dry brush the olive green. Uh, we'll do a different color with this green color. Grab some celery green and another brush, big brush. And this time we're just going to lightly dry brush so we're not getting in as deep as we did with the avocado. So 
So this is just producing highlights. And I think the detail on these leaves are really amazing, especially for 3D printed. And I printed mine at 0.2 millimeters. And so you can't really see the print lines on these. Grab some Folk Arts Apple Orchard, or sort of this lighter, uh, almost glowing green. And I apologize, I don't have Americana, it's just whatever paint I have in my house. So uh, whatever lighter green that you can get that's different from the other trees, and what we're gonna do is grab now these primed trees that are primed more of that greenish color. And this one you only need to do one uh, coat of dry brush since it's already greenish. We're just highlighting dry brushing here with this apple orchard color. And obviously you, you can do whatever colors you want. I just grabbed what I already had. But the point of it is um, I think the leaves have so much detail that uh, take advantage of that because look how quickly I'm just dry brushing here just to pull out the highlights. And I think with just a little bit of work, um, you get a lot of effect here. That's gonna make your trees look really good. And clearly you can make your trees fall or autumn colors by painting oranges and reds and whatnot. But I usually just go the regular traditional green trees and if for whatever reason you want to paint sort of in a blighted land or something like that you wouldn't necessarily have leaves on there or if you had leaves you know you could do black leaves um, but in general where there's blight uh, the leaves are gone and you just use the trunks of the trees with just the branches like in winter time so that's what we're going to do here and that this just gives a little bit of a different shade and color to give variation on your trees. And then you can finish these guys off just by putting on some super glue on the tips. You don't, you don't have to do all of them but enough for it to stick on because you don't 100% know which ones are going to touch the actual uh, bowl here at the bottom. And just stick it on that and my suggestion is to do the bottom ones first but there you have it so there you have it uh, my review of some of the trees that you can print obviously there's way more than the uh, these options that I'm giving you but I found these new trees from printable scenery to be awesome and moving forward I think I'm going to be printing up these guys also check out my patreon links below because at some point I know that we're going to be giving away a painted set of these five trees and you need to be a Patreon supporter in order to get in on that raffle. But go ahead and like and subscribe to my videos and you can see more about terrain for your tabletop. Happy gaming!